shoot. I've got you now. You son of a bitch. She's asleep. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna get it. Fine weather. Yeah, let's just get everything that I've already talked to her about. Son of a bitch, that sucks. I'll just get out of here then. I should wait till like she rolled over or something. Take too long though. Bruce Isaacs. Oh, I can take this stuff? Really? Motorcycle gas can, turpentine, motorcycle handbrake. Those were all very useful in the first ones. Hmm. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, uh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you... You don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? No, I don't. What makes you think that? Sorry, it's just you look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Um, aren't you a singer from New Reno? I think you saw you play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. Um, why'd you come all the way out of here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Why would he be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. <sighs> Dummy. You robbed a casino boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. <laughs> wow, my hat off is off to you. That takes some balls. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. Uh, that's a tough break. Good luck with that. Thanks. Let's see. And then because you ran all the way... I figured it might take him a while to understand his accounting error and cool down a little. Also... Yeah, I'll tell you. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Goodbye. Alright, so apparently if I get any work, I can, I'll let him know. Um, before we go in there, I'm going to actually quick save instead of do the auto save. Who's in here? Huh. Looks like blood. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Exit. I want the frickin' medics. No, exit. Requires a key, huh? It's like a mystery. Manny Vargas's room. Whoa, hello. This weasel 
find out from any Vargas where the Vacons were headed. Alright. At Boulder City. Huh. Alright. Wow, that's some good stuff right there. What's up, Manny? What's going on, man? Who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot It's me. Otherwise, it's Boone. What do you protect your town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately, we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far, we've been lucky. Um... I'm looking for a man in a checkered coat. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Uh... He's a good friend of mine. I'm trying to help him out. Oh, yeah? A good friend? If you say so, man. Well, listen. I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. What do you need? Novak? It's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site. But a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Uh, what needs to be done? Well, they gotta go. Or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Okay, I'll see what I can be done about it. It'd mean a lot to me. Who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Why are you on bad terms? Me and his wife. We didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What did you and Boone's wife argue about? Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted. Earned my future. Brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Did you have anything to do with Boone's wife's disappearance? Believe me. When I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. And I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Uh, who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. So you were in a gang, were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. What was I supposed to... No, I know that. Don't touch it. There you go. What was your tour with the NCR? Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe, what's not to like. So why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. What did happen at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. Huh. I am utterly confused. I, I would think it would be him, but I don't think it is. For putting up and keeping quiet. This weasel Benny's been twitching since we saw that package from his boss. Should we count on you? Let the other cons say. One day you'll remember. Huh. 
Oh, scotch is worn off. The hell, I'll take it. Man, these guys really love drinking here. Oh, good stuff, man. Who cares if I steal stuff? Open door to Boone's room. Hmm. I don't know who could have done it. Let's, uh... Probably need to wait a little bit. There she is. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. What's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. What can you tell me about his wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Um, we haven't met yet. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. What's your name, though? I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel, long as they aren't troublemakers. Okay. Where's this place? We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. What is there of interest around here? Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Anything else? Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Okay, cool. Let's talk about Rifcon. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Watch out for strangers! <laughs> 